What's going on, Weekend Hangover Nation? I'm your boy Surf, and I'm back. I'm here today to wish Patrick Robinson good luck in his retirement, and I got nothing, nothing but absolute love for anybody on that 2018 Super Bowl roster as they move on. He might only played one year in Philly, but man, he is a Philly legend, no doubt. That pick six in the NFC Championship game opened the flood doors to the route of the Vikings, and it was just a beautiful thing. I mean, that was that was one of my favorite. Obviously, winning the Super Bowl two weeks later was awesome by the Birds, but man, that that Vikings game when everybody was talking about Case Keenum, every pundit on TV was talking about Case Keenum like he was going to the Hall of Fame or something. It was, but anyways, I get back to Robinson. Robinson, a little background on his NFL history. He was a former first-round pick of the New Orleans Saints. He played his college ball at Florida State. I'm old enough to remember Robinson in college, and he was an absolute ball hawk. And he was a heck of a track star as well. When he showed up in New Orleans, pressure was on to be a star. I mean, that's what happens when you're a first-round pick. And the Saints just won a Super Bowl. And while the Saints weren't exceptionally deep at corner, the incumbent starters were a big part of that Super Bowl run. So it took Robinson battling hard in this rookie season to really break into the lineup. Year two for Patrick Robinson was a quietly solid season. He had 53 solo tackles, which wasn't exactly his calling card coming into the league. He had three picks, including a 99-yard house call against the Birds. Vic, what were you looking at, bro? I still remember it. Ah, That was difficult. And he also had 18 pass deflections. Like I said, that's a really solid NFL year. At the time, I felt like Robinson's career was really about to take off. Then he had a setback. He lost the count, uh, camp battle to Keenan Lewis, and that ult- and then ultimately ended up on the IR after just two games into the season. So Robinson's second, his third year was one to forget, and then all in all, that, that pretty much doomed his original spell with the Saints. He ended up signing with the Chargers in 2015, only lasted a year there. In 2016, he signed with the Colts, only lasted a year there only to sign a veteran's minimum deal with the Philadelphia Eagles in 2017. And what a signing. Value for dollars, man, what a signing. Don't get me wrong, things in Philly didn't immediately click. Robinson was brought in to compete for a starting spot on the outside, where at the time, talent in the Birds' cornerback room was hard to find. But he had a really, really, really bad training camp. So bad that I was certain the Eagles, when they traded for Ronald Darby, Robinson's days were over. I was certain. I was a stone-cold lock. Jim Swartz, on the other hand, the Eagles' defensive coordinator at the time, saw something different. He stuck the veteran in the slot, and the rest of the story is just simply magic. He finished the regular season with four picks and 18 pass deflections. He was an absolute rock inside and, and, and out. And I state this with absolute certainty. The Philadelphia Eagles do not win that Super Bowl without Patrick Robinson. For what that's worth, he will always, always have a special place in my Eagles heart. Thank you for the memories. Enjoy your retirement, man. All right, guys, it's been another Weekend Hangover production. I'm your boy, Surf. Hit us up with a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Catch you guys later. Peace.